Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Monday, February the 18th. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. Going a bit old school today, from a standpoint of I don't have my microphone, I don't have my tripod, so if you've been sticking with my videos, watch my videos for a while, this probably has the feel of kind of the older videos where I'm a little bit closer to the camera, the camera's a little lower. Some of you don't care about that stuff, others of you do, so just so you know, it's because I'm actually, I wanna get this video in before it gets dark outside, I wanna stay true to the car chats, and basically I record this before I get home and before family life hits on this family day, certainly. I actually just left, uh, the Marriott Park Vancouver Hotel and Casino as I was there for our volunteer training, our orientation for tomorrow's big Dyson Ice event. I've been very blessed to volunteer tomorrow for the, the Canucks Signature Charity event, supporting the Canucks for Kids Fund. I got my jobs. I know tomorrow I'm not supposed to have my phone out, not supposed to take a lot of pictures or video, so you'll have to live vicariously through maybe a couple of tweets if I can sneak away and doing them, or maybe uh, my recap video for Wednesday. But yes, I can't wait to, to volunteer for a very, very uh, worthwhile event tomorrow night, and that's where I was just now. It looks like my jobs are I'm going to be an usher, I'm going to be a runner for the auction, and then I'm going to be handing out gifts at the end of the day. So that's that. Today I want to talk about very quickly about the Vancouver Canucks. They practice back at practice today and then um, ahead of their next game, which is Thursday against Arizona. Arizona just lost to Calgary today, so that helps in the, the Western Conference wildcard uh, you know, playoff chase. And interesting, a lot of interesting notes actually coming from play, uh, from practice today. First, let's talk about the guys that weren't at practice. Jake Vertanen, we found out, is out for a month with a broken rib. Thanks a lot, Ryan Getzlaff. So whether uh, he was going to be a big part of the Canucks playoff run or whether he's going to be a trade chip, which I don't believe, but I heard that I'm just adjusting this here. Sorry, you're seeing my hand there. There. So Jake Vertanen out for a month with a fractured rib. It sounds like Alex Edler is skating on his own. It sounds like... Um, Thatcher Demko is skating on his own. So those two things, really quickly, uh, I have a small insight to e e both of those. Alex Edler is supposed to be part of tomorrow night's Dyson Ace event, supposed to be part of the photo booth, uh, potentially with Jacob Markstrom. It sounds like it's going to be Besser and Pedersen in one photo booth, which is going to be crazy. And then Markstrom and Edler in the other one, but they weren't sure if Edler is going to be taking part because A, is he healthy enough, and B, will his face look good in photos, quite frankly. And they said only if Edler can't make it, then it, maybe it comes Markstrom and Horvat. I just found that breakdown a little interesting that the Pedersen Besser photo booth is going to be crazy busy. And then I guess for whatever reason, they had the next two guys lined up as Markstrom and Edler, as opposed to Horvat or someone else like that. Or maybe Horvat's going to be doing something else tomorrow night. We'll see. So Edler, not sure how far away he is from from uh, being ready. The other one is Thatcher Demko. My friend Janice was at the Canucks, one of the Canucks season ticket events. It was the autograph signing and she got a nice chat with Thatcher Demko and Demko said he's very close to returning. That's good news and that lines up with the fact that uh, apparently he's been skating on his own. So maybe Demko comes back pretty darn soon. Chris Tanev went to, back to see the doctor today so maybe he's going to be out long term. We know that Sutter's out long term and we know that Berchi is likely out long term. I, I'd be surprised if Berchi played again this season. Okay, so that's it for those guys. Now on the ice. Oh, a couple other things. Uh, defenseman Breezeball sent back down to Utica. Luke Shen brought up from Utica and Ryan Spooner um, joining the big club as opposed to going to Utica. So what it meant at practice was this. The top line was Horvat between Godobin and Levo with McEwen in and out for both Godobin and Levo. But for all intents and purposes, is Horvat, Godobin, Levo. The second line was Pedersen, Besser, and newcomer Ryan Spooner. So right off the bat, getting to play with two of our best players, see what he's got left, see if he can be a player still at this level. Third line, you had Gaudette, Granlin, and Roussel. And then the fourth line, reunited after a game or two off, was Beagle, Erickson, and Mott. I think you remember Mott played up uh, on the third line for at least one, if not two games. But that fourth line is reunited. So once again, Horvat, Godobin, Levo, Pedersen, Besser, Spooner, Gaudette, Granlin, Roussel, and Beagle, Erickson, and Mott. D pairing's the same in that it was Stetcher and Hutton. It was, uh, it, actually, if Breezeball's gone, I guess it was Shen and, and Goodbranson. I think Breezeball did the practice, though. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember. And then, of course, Pouliot and Biega. So with Luke Shen being called out, with Breezeball being sent down, that either mean, that means six healthy fours, not including Edler. So that means Edler is going to come is ready to play on thursday or at least to back up or maybe they go with those six guys and they don't have an extra d-man but that doesn't sound right that's but a lot can happen it's only monday a lot can happen between today 
and Thursday. So just some tidbits um, there. Nothing that you can read from, you know, reports from other guys on Twitter. But I just found it fascinating that um, that right now the Canucks only have six healthy D-men on their roster. So again, maybe Edler's coming back or maybe they're calling up someone else from Utica. Um, one of those two things. I've heard maybe it's uh, Brandon Manning off the uh, off the waiver wire, but not sure waiver wire. Not sure if he'll get to us, or maybe another, like I said, another call up from Utica. So many things can happen, and it's only Monday, and we have until Thursday to figure that out. But I think the biggest news of the day was we found out that Vertano will be out for a month, and Ryan Spooner is, looks like he's going to get a chance to start off his Canucks career on a on a very good foot by playing with Elise Pedersen and Brock Besser. So tomorrow, I'll likely check in with a video in, during the day, but if there's not a lot of news or not a lot of Canucks, uh, news going on, then maybe I'll wait until Wednesday because I do have to get to the, you know, Park Vancouver by mid-afternoon for my, my shift. So like I said, I'll try and tweet a little bit when I'm there. I, I don't think I'm supposed to, but we'll see what happens. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a wonderful night. Uh, volunteering, you know, I'm used to doing church work, either paid or volunteer. So it's nice to volunteer for an organization that I obviously very passionate about, that being the Vancouver Canucks and their charities, and a chance to give back in a different way, um, not in, in, to a non church function for once. Um, I think it's nice to be well rounded that way. So I, I can't wait to, you know, I'll see the Canucks players, coaches, senior management, but more importantly, I'll be focusing on doing my volunteer duties and helping bring a good experience to everyone that is there. All right, Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply. You can talk about anything you can talk about luke shen you can talk about breezeball being sent down you can talk about ryan spooner jumping into you know starting lineup on power play two and on the second line already some would argue the first line for the canucks playing with Pedersen and besser whatever it may be spooner's going to get a good, good chance to get acclimated right away leave a comment below i'd love to read react and reply as always subscribe if you'd like to like this video if you'd like to have a great rest of the day i uh, hope you had a great family day and I'll check in tomorrow, if not Wednesday for sure. I'm at Dyson Nice tomorrow night, raising money for the Canucks for Kids Fund. Have a great night. God bless. Go Canucks, go.